Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I was going to uh, film a thrift flip video, but I can't find my SD card. I can't remember if I said that in my previous video, my get to know me video, that I couldn't find my SD card, so I was filming on my phone. Uh, I still can't find it, so I'm gonna have to order a new one before I can film that one, because it's just, I can't film the clips that I need to on my phone, it's just too much. Um, so today I'm actually gonna bring you a little get ready with me, except I'm gonna be doing a rate the zodiac signs from worst to best, in my personal opinion. Uh, I have got my cousin's daughter's third birthday party today, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup whilst rating and kind of having just like a little chit chat um, process. I'm not gonna go through how I'm doing my makeup because I'm not a professional, I just know how to do my own makeup how I like it um, but uh, I just thought yeah it'd be a fun little video that I could film instead because I can't find my SD card I have just waxed my eyebrows so they might be a little bit red and I probably shouldn't put makeup on on top of it but I'm going to anyway and I've got this big spot here that I've been picking this morning and had toothpaste on to try and calm it down so we're going to be doing a bit of colour corrector too so, yeah We'll just get straight on in to the video. I have already made my little list, so I'm gonna just put that somewhere that I can see to reference. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with the least favorite. So number 12 on my list of worst to best. Uh, for me, the worst zodiac sign, bear in mind guys, I'm a Sagittarius sun. Um, I'm a Sagittarius sun with an Aries moon and a Sagittarius rising. So I'm mostly fire signs, like in my entire chart as well, it's mostly fire. I think I've got like five fire placements and then it's like water as well, uh, which is like, yeah, I've got a lot of Scorpio placement as well. But um, so I'm, yeah, mostly fire signs. Um, so it may not come to all my fellow Sagittarians out there a surprise to you lot that my least favorite at number 12 is a Capricorn. <laughs> now I have had some experience with Capricorns and have just always found that we might get along, but there's never any like deeper sort of friendship that blossoms. So it's not like a, we just do not get on. Like I can have conversations with them and there's, there's always that, but then there's like that limit and it just stops there. Like I think because I'm very much like, I just want like, I don't take things too seriously. I just want to have some fun and, and Capricorn is literally the complete opposite. So they take everything really seriously and are really, really stubborn. And I just don't, like, I'm stubborn, but I've learned to kind of let go of things and just not everything is like, not everything's so serious. And I just find that Capricorn always finds everything to be really serious and they're just, yeah, it's just like the complete opposite of, of everything that I do and my principles and everything like that. So they are at the bottom for me. Um, coming in at number 11 is going to be, although I do have a very close friend who is this sign, but she is literally an, an anomaly. And I think that's the right word. And I don't have any other friends that are in this sign that I think, I don't think, I, I don't think I do. No, I don't think I do. Um, that's Taurus. <laughs> Immy, I love you, I know you're a Taurus. Um, but I don't tend to just, I think they're so down in the bottom of my list because I only have the one friend. I don't have many other friends. And there's probably a reason for that. I'm assuming that like, I just, again, it's like the slowness and of opening up and the stubbornness and just like, Taurus take their time and I'm and I know this through my friend as well like 
she really did take her time to open up and like to just feel comfortable around us and usually I don't have the patience for that I'm I mean it's yeah I usually I do find it quite difficult because I wear my heart on my sleeve I'm so open I'm literally like I could just spill my guts to like strangers realistically like I just feel comfortable I just I don't know to me I'm kind of like there's no point in holding on like the more people that you can connect with the better and all that kind of stuff whereas Taurus like to take their time they're very loyal friends though and once you're in with them they're great and like I absolutely love and adore my friend that is a Taurus however I am surprised that we are friends and that she even let me in <laughs> but um yeah that's why that they're at, at number 11 only because I literally don't think I actually know them that much and there's probably a reason for that like I'm just assuming that the slowness of like letting people in and like that initial guard and shyness like I don't tend to like not e it's not even like in a bad way I just think that I just I'm kind of like oh you're not opening up okay maybe you don't want to be my friend and like move on quite quickly rather than spending that time which I probably should because Im's you're great and maybe more Taurus people are like great and loyal and once you're in you're in so there's that now coming in at number 10 for me is the last earth sign all the earth signs for me oh i forgot to do color corrector shit okay, just go all earth signs for me are at the bottom because i am a fire sign and i find that they are pretty much the opposite in terms of their morals their standards just everything about them like so virgo is at number 10 for me because Again, they're perfectionist, they take their time, they're really slow, they're very like grounded and all these kinds of things that like for me, it's almost like they can come across a bit too dull sometimes. Like not everything's so serious, like we can, yeah, I just, earth signs I find very difficult to actually have like a really, really genuine connection with that's like on a deeper level. Like, like I said, I don't have, I don't think I have any Capricorns in my life, I've got, one Taurus friend and there is a Virgo in my life who's my my cousin is a Virgo but even that like I could see how different we are because she is yeah she's a perfectionist she's very doesn't really you know she's to herself and all that kind of stuff whereas I'm like the complete opposite so um, I do tend to just not have a lot of people like that in my life and that's why they're so low on the chart for me like on the uh worst and best list for me because yeah just different like just different morals like I don't know I just I don't really mix well with earth signs too much I just I always have found that I find it very difficult to have that initial connection uh doesn't mean that I can't have it but it's just I, it's not very common for me um so I'm going to be moving on now to number nine nine for me and this sign, realistically, I'm very wary around. <laughs> and that is a Cancer. Now, Cancer signs are extremely emotional. They are very, like, sensitive. And that is, like, my worst nightmare. Um, I'm very brute and, like, blunt with my, the way that I speak, with just everything. I am very honest and I do, I like stick with that and I'm it, that I'm very true to self in terms of Sagittarius, like honesty. I, yeah, I like live by that. But um, it has got me in trouble in the past with like cancer friends, in relationships, in like, yeah, when I was a kid, like when I was a kid, when I was younger, um, because, I don't always think before I speak and sometimes I can say things that I still to this day this is something that I struggle with and that I really am trying to work on but like I can say things and not understand how it would upset someone because I'm just being honest so sometimes I'm like I don't understand why it's upsetting I, it's something I am working on <laughs> but um that is why cancer is so low for me because I feel like I have to walk on eggshells around them um which I don't like to do like I've had fr like 
I have friends that are cancer and they're great as friends, but I do have to watch what I say or they just become used to it, that they kind of take everything I say with a pinch of salt. So it's like always a wary relationship. If I know that someone's a cancer, I'm like, oh, okay, so I have to watch what I say then. <laughs> Um, which is fine, It's, but I think it's a really good thing to be in touch with your like emotions and be like that, but I just think that sometimes, uh, sometimes you need to learn to just take it with a pinch of salt. Not everything is an offence, like sometimes people are just making a comment or it's someone's opinion, like who cares? I, I don't know. Um, so coming in at number eight is obviously then going to have to be Pisces because they're pretty much the same as a Cancer. Maybe a bit more intense, but I think I've had worse run-ins with Cancer than I have Pisces. So that's why Cancer is lower for me. Um, but yeah, water signs again, like I just don't mingle with very well, so. They are pretty low on my list of like who I would like to hang out with in that sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, Pisces is pretty much the same stuff as Cancer. Um, they do make really good listeners though. Like if you do want to have a deep and meaningful conversation, like Cancer and Pisces are really good for that. But I mean, it's like, it's not all the time, you know? Like sometimes you don't just want to have like sad conversations about how the world is miserable like sometimes you just want to have a laugh and just have stupid conversations but um yeah that's why they're so low on the list for me in my opinion guys <laughs> don't come for me this is obviously like i think everyone's list will always vary depending on where like what element you are as well like i just don't mix very well with water and earth signs so they tend to be lower but i'd rather a water sign than an earth sign, um, but that's just my opinion. What am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do in my eyes? I'm just gonna do a little, like simple eye shadow today. Um, something that I also find like with, I do quite like, Um, I do like, I don't mind water signs and I can have a good time with them, but I just always find that it's like, I don't know, I think Cancer and Pisces for me, I'm like, oh. it's almost, sometimes I feel like it's very mopey and I just like, I'm fine with, you know, moping around, but then after a while it's like, ugh, do something about it, stop complaining and just do something about it. So that's why I find them quite irritating as well. But. If you need a friend to listen to, or if you're having an issue or whatnot, Cancer and Pisces are probably great to like speak to about those kinds of things because they'll be like, they'll feel your pain with you as well. They're such empaths that they'll feel it, um, which is nice. Number seven for me is, and again, this is probably another placement because I don't actually think I have a lot of Libras in my life. I have a, one friend and I think that's pretty much it actually I'm trying to think I probably have more actually but yeah the next one is Libra for me and that is because I can't stand when people don't have their own opinion or like they don't have something that they just stand by like it really frustrates me something that I do which is probably a little bit psychotic probably is a little bit psychotic that I do this but something that I do when I first meet people is I will test if they stand for themselves if that makes sense like I will purposely disagree with something just to see if they will still stand by what they said um just like if they say that they like, I don't know, if they're like, oh, I like bananas, I'll just be like, oh, I hate bananas. Just to see if they're like, really? No, I love them. Like if they if they can still be like, oh no, you're crazy, I love them. I love and fuck with people like that because I'm like, yes, you can still have your own opinion even if it's like 
the only one in that room and everyone else is like the opposite of that opinion. Like if someone then goes, oh yeah, I mean, I don't like them all the time. Like sometimes I actually like, yeah, they're not like my favorite. Then I'm just like, ah, oh, you're dead. Like what the hell? Like just have your own opinion. If you like bananas, you like bananas. Who gives a fuck if everyone else hates them? Like I kind of, yeah. So like Libra for me, they tend to just like, because they're so like, they like to see all points of the argument and they're so almost like, they can put themselves in any person's shoe, which is great. To me, sometimes it can be really frustrating. So um, I do, so yeah, so that's why they're at like number seven for me because um, just have your own opinion. And they do sometimes, which is great. And I actually do have a lot of fun with them because they're so adaptable. They're always up to do anything. They're not like, earth signs where sometimes it can be like a bit of a mission to even get them like raring to do something like libras are up for a good time and i love that about them so they aren't like you know seven's pretty good seven's not too low it's not too high it's kind of in the middle they're like they're like an all right sign there's some annoying things about them and there's some great things about them but um yeah just kind of sometimes just stick with your own opinion that's my only advice for you libras like it's okay to not be what everyone else is. Number six for me is Leos. Now Leos are number six for me purely because it's just like, I actually just, I actually really get on with Leos. There's not even like an issue with them. I get on with them, I get them. They're another fire sign, I get it. Um, I don't mind that they always want attention. Like I'm like fine, whatever. Uh, the only thing for me about Leos is the false confidence. I think everyone always thinks that they're very confident people, but they're really not. And I'm kind of like, they are like the fake it till you make it kind of people where they'll like act very confident and you'll think that they're really confident, but deep down they're actually insecure and they really do care about other people's thinks. thinks. <laughs> They actually do care about other people's like thoughts of them and they constantly need that reassurance, which is why they're always like, oh, look at me, I'm great, right? I'm great, right? And they, they want people to be like, yes, you're great. Like, um, which is a little bit annoying because I'm like, you are like, Leos are great. They're entertainers. They're, they should just have that confidence anyway. Like you don't need that reassurance from other people. You don't need that reassurance from other people, which is why they're number six to me. So they're not like, they're not that low. I really do actually like and get on with them. I just, I always like find it really difficult for people that are insecure um, in terms of like needing other people's approval like I find it really difficult because I hate that we we as humans like have to feel like that because other people's approval shouldn't matter and I just like I hate it in the way of like I wish no one ever had to feel like that like it makes me feel really sad because I remember when I was like I'm so happy that I kind of just found myself and was that kind of like I don't care about other people's opinion quite young um, I sort of just like grasp that mentality of like, who cares? Because there's always gonna be a person out there that's not gonna like what you're doing or what you're saying, what you're wearing, whatever it is. So if I constantly had to need, like need other people's approval, I'd, it would just be exhausting. So I, I'm quite happy that I've quickly got out of that need for people's approval. And I just think it's like a sad thing that we live in a society that makes us feel like that. And I just wish that no one felt like that because it can be really like, hard on a person especially like your mental health and stuff like it can be really difficult so I always like whenever I see people that constantly need someone's approval I find it really difficult because I just want to shake them and be like you are great as you are who gives a fuck if someone doesn't like you like who cares like if as long as you like who you are and you're trying to be the best person you can possibly be like you're not doing anything wrong like you're not always gonna make everyone happy so just make yourself happy that's that's how i think and feel so i love you guys leo but you know just have that actual confidence without the approval of others right so that's going to take me to number five number five on my list is aquarius i love aquarius people like actually love them get on with them all the time i don't think i've ever met an aquarius i don't get on with and they are number five because um 
I don't know. I don't have a lot of Aquarius people in my life, like permanently, and that's probably saying something. So I always meet them and get on with them really well. And then um, that's about it. But I just love how weird and quirky like Aquarius people are. And they're always like, tend to be pretty um, like creative and just, I don't know, they're just up for a good time. They're Sorry, that's, yeah. They're just always up for a good time. They're really, really positive. Um, you can just have any random, strange, weird, wacky conversation. And I know that I'm not gonna get judged like by an Aquarius. Like I just know that that's not gonna happen and that they're just gonna listen to me and they'll probably understand where I'm coming from, which is why I love Aquarius. Um, yeah, I do love an Aquarius. Number five is pretty good in the position, actually. I feel like it's low, but then when I look at the other ones I've got ahead, I'm like, no, that's the right position. Um, so it's no hate for you guys. I actually really love Aquarius people. Um, but yeah, just number five, I'm sorry. <laughs> number four for me, which is may come to surprise pe to people, because I feel, I feel like this sign tends to get um, bashed a lot, but they are, it's Gemini. I know, I get on really well with Gemini. I just love the signs. I find that they are always up for a good time, but then you can also have those like more personal like chats with them and you can kind of, you can have both sides. Like I know everyone always goes on about how they're like two-faced and it's like they've got multiple personalities, but I find that I get on with both. So it's great for me. It's like having two friends in one. Um, I can have those like really intimate and like serious, like deep conversations, but then I can just fuck around and just have fun with them too, which I really do like, really like. I just, I, yeah, I just find that I've always got on with a Gemini. I haven't found a Gemini that I don't get on with. Um, so I fucks with Geminis, I fucks with them. Um, I'm trying to think what I haven't done with my makeup. Yeah, so I really like Geminis. I know that they get a lot of shit, but you don't get a lot of shit from me, honey. I like you. Um, I do understand that people say that they can be pretty um, unreliable, like, but I don't mind that. I mean, I think that's because I'm a Sagittarius and sometimes I'm just like pretty easygoing and I hate making commitments because sometimes on the day you just can't be bothered and that's fine so maybe that's why i don't mind the whole re unreliableness of a sagittarius uh, of a gemini um but yeah gemini is pretty high up on my list i do like them i think if you've probably gathered from my list i just like signs that i can just have a good time with and have a laugh and then yeah we can probably have serious convos but they can do both is kind of what i fuck with a bit um so yeah, that's why Gemini for me is at number four. Um, number three for me, which is probably gonna come to another surprise, is Scorpio. I I feel like Gemini and Scorpio get a lot of stick of the Zodiacs because they're so like, I don't know. I feel like because Gemini is very like, they're like crazy people and they're, you don't know what you're gonna get. And then Scorpio because they're so intense but I have a, quite a bit of Scorpio placement, like my Mercury is in Scorpio, and I think my Venus is too. So a lot of like conversations that I have with like Scorpios and stuff, I just get them because it's the way that I communicate as well. Um, and the thing that oh, the thing that I love about Scorpio in comparison to Cancer and Pisces is they are really emotional and they are like quite sensitive, but they use that to their advantage. They use that as like a source of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Motivation. They use it as a source of motivation and they use it to their advantage to do good and to like get what they need. Um, so that's why I like, I do really admire Scorpio because it's, they are really intense and they are really passionate and they can be a bit much. Like I totally agree with that. But I just think if you just let them, like sometimes it's just, it's not as serious as it seems with them. So like I know that they seem like they're so intense and like they're literally gonna like rip their heart out and eat it. Like they're so like passionate about what they talk about and all these kinds of things and meh, 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 meh. But like just take it with a pinch of salt. Just kind of like admire their passion and just let them run on and then kind of just be like, yeah. 
like mm -hmm. um <laughs> but yeah scorpios for me like i don't know i just think because they're so loyal um and they are like they are passionate like i i know i'm not gonna get fucked about with a scorpio like i know that they're gonna you know if they say something if they say they're gonna do something they're gonna do it like i know that for sure like they're not gonna fuck about and um yeah they can have a good time as well like i think if you just respect them and like give them like that respect and trust that they need and don't like play them like just be honest if you're just honest with them and respect them they will literally like go a mile and beyond for you they are really like they fuck with their tribe like hard and they they do anything for like their little circle so i really like people like that and that's why they're so high up on my list because i know that they can be intense but if you just kind of let them do it like don't try and calm them down like don't be like oh my god just chill out it's not that serious like just let them like it's it's admirable like you should admire the fact that they have a passion about like that they're passionate about something so much um and just let them be just let them be and just just appreciate them <laughs> um number two for me is sagis i do love my own star sign i know that's like eh, you've rated it really high but i think because I am just quite a relaxed person and I just want to have fun and like all this sort of stuff and I just find that Sagittarius people just, I just get them because it's like, they're like me. So I just know that I'm going to have a good time, I know that I can have a serious conversation with them, I know that I can be fully myself because they get it. I know that I can be completely honest and they're not going to get offended. I know that I can be like completely crazy or whatever and i'm not going to get judged they'll probably join in like so i just yeah F, like sagittarius for me are great they're a great time and i don't know why every sign doesn't love us <laughs> just joking i am just joking but um yeah i do mess with saggies a lot i do love them um i'm a sagittarius my mum and dad are a sagittarius however i feel like my mum is not that much of a sagittarius at all like i feel like she's probably got a lot of earth placements i wouldn't be surprised at all if she has a lot of earth, earth placements in her birth chart but she doesn't know her birth time so i can't actually find out her full birth chart which is annoying um but yeah i have quite a lot of like sagittarius people in my life as well so i think that's i i sort of rate it in that aspect as well like how involved these signs are in my life and like how much they yeah how much of a, a like how much of a part of my life they are so that's why Sag is number two um we could just take them out completely but I do fucks with them quite a lot which is obviously leaving at number one Aries I love Aries signs so much like I think the minute I know that someone's an Aries I'm like we're gonna get on like a fucking house on fire I just know it um I don't know what lipstick I'm gonna do But yeah, Aries is number one for me because I just love them. Like I literally just love Aries. Um, they're just, you know, it's all just fun and games and they're just as honest as a Sagittarius. Sometimes they're even more so, they're even more of like a brute, like it's quite crazy. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much just down to have a good time. They are down to like, if you have an Aries friend and you're like, oh i'm bored like let's just go out and do something like let's just go for a walk or whatever it is like let's just go on a drive like let's go for on an adventure they're down for it they're not the type to be like oh i can't be bothered like mm, i'm not mm, nah, i'm not in the mood like they're down they'll just be like yeah cool let's go like whatever like they're the kind of friends where you're like you know when you need to run errands and your friend and you're just like oh do you want to like come just to keep me company they're like yeah sure like and they just make the day so much better that's an aries for me like i just love them so much kai's an aries although he's got like pisces placement so he's not actually like a full full aries but he has enough of the aries traits that i fuck with and that i really really love so aries is number one for me guys i know that it's not high on a lot of people's um list <laughs> and ratings because i love these videos and i've watched loads of the um like worst to best astrology lit like 
uh, zodiac sign lists and I know that Aries isn't always at the top and I think yeah no I don't think Aries is I, I always I swear like the ones that I always watch it's like Virgo is quite high on the top and stuff like that but it's Aries for me Aries are crazy I know that they can be much and stuff like that but I just find that I can I can handle that crazy side and the good side and the fun side is so much like it's it's worth that like annoying like impatient sometimes annoying uh, crazy side so Aries is it for me guys Aries I don't know about this lip colour either. I think once I get changed, maybe I'll know. Yeah, Aries is it for me. I just find that, yeah, with a Sagi, we're just so compatible that it just, it's like a match made in heaven. So that's why they're number one for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. My makeup is pretty much done and I'm more or less ready to go. So, well, I just need to get changed actually. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I will hopefully have that thrift flip video done for next week. I need to order the SD card and I'll be able to get it filmed and stuff. I know exactly what I want to make. It's just like, yeah, it's going to be like Reformation inspired. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes out how I think it will. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what sort of star sign you are and whether you found it relatable or not. Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit more fun while I was getting ready and just a little bit more relaxed as well. So yeah, I hope you don't mind that and uh, see you next week. Thanks, bye.